Delta Forces and Azoka Boys are familiar names of vigilante groups within the political arena. But ever heard of the Dragons and Hawks? Well, those are the emerging groups from the opposition NDC, some of whom were spotted at the party's regional elections last weekend. There's more in the following report. Prior to the 2016 elections, the Azoka Boys remained the well-known internal security group identified with the NDC. This changed shortly after the party's defeat when heavily built men were spotted during the NDC's regional elections held over the weekend. New names such as the Dragons, Lions and Asamankasi NDC forces were seen. Correspondent Precious Semivo recounts the role the Dragons played in the Bono Afo region. The NDC Dragons were in black t-shirts and positioned advantage areas including the podium and the three polling centers to deny entry of unauthorized individuals and groups from getting access to the top party officials. NDC national organizer Kofi Adams, however, says the party is not aware of the existence of these groups. I don't know of any group like that called Dragon. The party has its internal security. We have not named any group Dragon. A former Ashanti regional minister, Joseph Yamin, who organized the Hawks during the regional elections, says such groupings are important. These are people we call tax force, and they have a role to play. Delegates play their role, tax forces play their role. We will continue to have our tax force. Although national organizer of the party, Kofi Adams, has distanced the party from the activities of these groups, General Secretary of the NDC, Johnson Asiedu Nketiah, is endorsing the groups. Their mission, he says, is to match the likes of Delta, Invisible Forces, or even the Kandaha Boys in the ruling MPP boot for boot. According to him, since the NPP has failed to disband similar groups in their party, it gives them justification to do same. Now, the General Secretary says the emergence of these groups will force relevant institutions to ensure that vigilantism is dealt with. I endorse it fully as a proper response for the incarcitrance of the ruling government and their refusal to do anything about the vigilantes on the MPP side. You realize that for two years now, we have all been complaining about the rising incidence of vigilantism in this country. The president promises that something will be done and nothing gets done. Some of us have uh, been affected by vigilante attack and yet nothing, nobody was, has been held responsible as we speak to you now. Mm -hmm. And they are now in charge of the security services and they still maintain party vigilantes terrorizing people left, right and center and all the security services are quiet even when you take steps to report they don't take any action so are you saying that we on the ndc side because we are good citizens we should keep quiet for mpp to control the army to control the the police and to control everybody but that's not a way to go general please please so i as a general secretary think that the appropriate response that will force the government and force civil society, force uh, religious leaders, force traditional leaders to all let us come around one table to think about vigilantism. It's for people to take steps to defend themselves by also forming their vigilantes. I am. Well, security expert Adam Buna is blaming the main security agencies, the National Security and the Bureau of National Investigations, for failing to address the menace of vigilante groups in the country. Now, he believes those two entities must be reformed and made independent as he retreated calls uh, for activities of the vigilante groups to be restrained. He spoke on the polls. Do we actually even need the national security at all? at its present stage? Probably no. Okay. Do we need a BNI? No. I'm sure they'll be listening to me. They are not happy, but you see, it is the taxpayers' money that is used in paying them. Right. If they are there, and we have all these vigilante groups, and they don't care, massing up and, you know, doing things that will throw this country into chaos tomorrow, mm. then I would say that, you see, we probably would have to, I've, I've been hearing disband the vigilante groups. I would rather we'll call disband the BNI, disband the, the national security. Let's reform the national security and make it very independent. Until we make the state agencies independent, 
where we stop this idea of they parading themselves with the AK-47s and, you know, side arms and, you know, running after vehicles. People. Yeah, we should have that in place. Mm -hmm. When we do it that way, we are going to have an efficient Ghana police service and security services. But at the moment, at this present state, we are going to have an upsurge of this type of the hogs, the lions, the vultures, and all these people springing up because they can see a loophole. And so they will take advantage of the loophole.